Hi, I was walking up the mountain totally in the dark with just a flashlight, pitch black, and there's a cat rubbing against me right now. And I'm going to show you the video. And a water moccasin or a copperhead, which is a venomous snake, was in the middle of the road. And I think I stood on it, but I think it, a car just ran it over. I'm not sure. I, th I think I saw it like I kind of kicked it and I was as I was walking and went back and filmed it. Copperheads or water moccasins are actually more likely to flee than they are to actually bite. <laughs> so um, that's the thing is that they're more likely to leave. And there are 7,000 to 8,000 bites of copperheads in North America every year. So they're very common to get bitten by them, but only account for five deaths, usually with smaller people. So there's a one in 100 million chance of dying if you get bit by a copperhead. One in 100 million. It's extraordinarily unlikely. And I think I literally was walking up the hill and happy and felt you know okay and stepped on it and it's probably gonna die i think i stepped on it and i was the one that killed it or a car ran it over but i'm pretty sure i stepped on it felt squishy and i was like oh man i felt sad for the snake because it's just an innocent snake not trying to hurt anyone usually they get away from people and it i think i stepped on it accidentally and it was terrible or a car whatever you know this and that okay let's check out the video of the copperhead, the water moccasin, right when I stepped on it in the dark when I was walking up the hill. Okay, bye. Ah, shit. That is crazy as fuck. That's a real rattlesnake. That's a real fucking rattlesnake. I'm getting that, oh my God. That is crazy. Looks like a real fucking rattlesnake. I think a car hit it. There's ants on it. That is crazy as shit. Sorry. Not the snake. The... I didn't mean to call you shit. Did you get hit by a car or are you okay? Ah, it sucks. You alright? That is a real rattlesnake. Oh man, that sucks. He got hit by, he got ran over by a car. That sucks. Man, I hope you're okay. That's not a rattlesnake. It's not a rattlesnake. <laughs> it's, it's not a rattlesnake. It's probably just a regular snake. I'm not gonna take a chance with it. But that, crazy. My son filmed a real rattlesnake before. He was like nine years old. He's cool. He climbed a hundred foot high tree when he was like seven years old. Five, or probably seven, seven years old. The tree fell down like a year later. I don't know why. He's he's a good kid. He follows the law perfectly. He's very powerful. I just love him, even if he was small, big, whatever. I don't know why the tree fell down. I felt bad that the tree fell down later. It was like a year later and it fell down. I don't know why. Maybe it just fell down by chance. Hopefully. She builds him up like he's like more important than me sometimes. Does it? I don't know. That's all right. I hope he makes, makes way more money than I do. He'd be happy. Where's those special headlight glasses that I had?
Mama got a worse at the car wash in 1970, some, some odd years, 72, 73. I'm here to wash your car. And fast forward about 10, 15 years, and it's Danny Glover. This is Danny Glover. I'm older now. Actually, I'm 73 or 72. And, well, I'm 72. And it's Danny Glover. Fast forward to the future. Now, actually, this is uh, the year 2018. And I was in Lethal Weapon. And that was me a long time ago when I was a little skinny man. I was a skinny man in the 70s. Lethal Weapon, me and Mel Gibson. Danny Glover. Danny Glover, remember me? See, this is, uh, that's what happened. I used to talk like this, and I would wash your car in 1972 at the car wash when things were segregated. Remember that? Can you imagine a black man having to be segregated back then? It wasn't easy. And somehow I became a movie star with Mel Gibson, the most racist white motherfucker you ever seen. <laughs> the cat, get, are you scared? Danny Glover? Mother Hubbard. What did I do today, or yesterday? <clears throat> Last night I recorded a Nightmare Before Christmas. What's this song? Let's take a listen. What's this? What's this? There's color everywhere. What's this? There's white things in the air. What's this? I can't believe my eyes. I must be dreaming. Wake up, Jack. This isn't fair. What's this? Oh. What's this? What's this? There's something very wrong. What's this? There's people singing songs. What's this? The streets are lined with little creatures laughing. Everyone seems so happy. Have I possibly gone dashing? What is this? What's this? There's children throwing snowballs instead of throwing heads They're busy building toys and absolutely no one's dead There's frost in every window, oh I can't believe my eyes And in my bones I feel the warmth that's coming from inside Oh look, what's this? They're hanging mistletoe, they kiss Why that looks so unique, inspired They're gathering around to hear a story Roasting chestnuts on a fire, what's this? <gasps> Christmas Town? Oh, I ain't gonna have that. I'm getting out of here, man. I'm going back to my country town. <laughs> I like it in the country. Man, this is beautiful, though. I love it. I love it. Something about it, I love it. Hi. How's it going? I'm going to drink this coffee I was making earlier. Okay. I lived in downtown Los Angeles. It was actually called Al's Bar. It was like uh, $305 a month. And I brought my drum set in there and would echo throughout through the street. And I played in Al's bar with this girl that was in a signed band when I was only 20. But they, they wouldn't let me um, watch shows in there because you had to be 21. But I get to. But she was the manager of the whole place, and so I get to play and jam with her band when it when it was closed one time. And I played in these different bands in L.A. I'll show you some footage of me playing in a band in Los Angeles right now. I actually have it 20 years ago. I was 19, I, I believe. 19 or 20. I'm going to show you that. Okay.
It's pretty cool. Here it goes. This is me. I play in this band. I played drums in this band. I played drums in some different bands. And we played around LA. Here it goes. It, this, this band was called Sir 1032. Okay. And it was these guys that were like Mexican Americans, but they're really good. Um, they weren't just random Mexican Americans or something. Okay. Check it out. Here's my band, Sir 1032 from like 1999. <laughs> okay.
you got really buff. You're you're a jujitsu instructor now. <laughs> you, it's true. Oh, I don't want to be on it too. Much. I get Turn okay. It sorry, it's a little. Can early. I show them the video I gave yeah. you? The fit first way. This is how Danny McBride got famous. It was a cheap movie he made, like just like my movie, and and he was a he's a he's a jujitsu or karate instructor, Danny McBride, and he saves up enough money and buys a Ferrari. He he buys he buys a Ferrari. Wow. Yeah, he buys a Ferrari. It's yeah. funny because they can kind of make money. Yeah, yeah, they can, they can kind of make money. The and I know oh, um, Robert Capper. Oh, I'm better friends with Robert Capper and Rowan. Cat on the duck. Yeah. Okay. Cat on the duck. Okay. The duck. The duck. How's it going? What are you doing? Just watching the duck. <laughs> I was trying to film you looking buff when you were here before. You were like, we're cutting. You're still cut now. You're like, get out of here. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to be gay. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome. Wait. Hey, you're good. <laughs> no, see. You're good. Huh. Oh, see. See. See, man. Huh. That's amazing. Look at the duck. Can we pet him? Or you do? You don't? Okay, wow, uh, <laughs> yeah, oh. Uh. That's amazing. Look at the little yellow one. And his friend. He's he got like a brown base, like a brown friend. And the black guts and stuff. Wow, look at the yellow one. It's white. And the black ones. Wow. Gosh, no. Oh, that one looks kind of different. That real big one. Hope you yeah, yeah, you look nice. She looks nice. Oh, no. She's not. She's mean. She, she's mean. <laughs> oh, there's a dog. He protects him. Wow. I can't believe that. Those little ducks. That was amazing. <laughs> okay, click like in the video. Check out more of my videos. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. This is John Birmingham. JB John Birmingham. Bye.